Welcome back, YouTube, to another video. I am still feeling the effects from the previous uh, Trent's recording that I made. And yes, an angel was speaking through me. The vision I had... S Let me make that clear. When I do some of the trance recordings, a new voice takes over. Or it is us from the trance itself when the voice energy shifts completely. To the sheep, they won't notice the energy shift, but I'm sure the ones on 4D, 5D will notice that shift. And I wanted to do that tidbit sooner, but it came now instead of before, when it happened previously. Not just today, but in a different video. Instead of doing the quiet one, well, the war moments, well, it was quiet, which does help, but right now it needs to be of the light language, soul language. I do not know why it took me. months. I don't know. It feels like it was months since I last did a light language video. And really, there was no excuse for it. However, I do probably know that the soul language never stirred because I was dealing with climbing back up if that makes any sense. Let me fix my jail position. <sighs> okay, there we go. We will see what I can do with this uh, video. Wait, there's an energy shift going on. Naka kukana isano ikala okuma ikaisala okula ivala ivala voloku esa domadala akosala iki kuna akala ekala kosala sakala dono de laisa oku ikala okunsala Isi sunu sala asala vulu vala asolo. Disi sakala kukuma kikana. Isi sunu sala asa. Vili vulu ku kikena. Kakaro ku isi nuku makala akano. Ikisi suku sana solo isa. Vili kulu isano soluku. Dina Dulu Destrokala 
Kisi no kukuma, kele ekulu kisa, kasono ikilu ku, vili bulukuma, kasana kukuma kikilu, dili dukuma kalaka sulu di kikimi, kukuma esi suluku nana kala. Okay, never spoke it that fast before, ever, even off camera. And this is before I started recording this. Why now? No idea. But I am feeling the power, like, coming off of me. Like, again, hands warming up, power growing. I think it ties back into the vision, uh, not vision, well, vision, yes, and the last previous trans video. Basically, when I talked about the bloodshed, that video, and the previous one for today, with the, the light spread your wings, it ties into both of those videos, and maybe uh, previous ones. Personally, really can't talk. <laughs> Personally, I know what the visions say. That is saying a lot. And oh my god. Talk about a heat wave on the heart center, heart chakra, on the spine. I never felt like that before. And yes, for in the first, uh, when I was doing the beginning, light language, uh, soul language, I was feeling the tingles, which indicates power upgrade. Energy shifting. Turns out this one is well, actually, is it tied with the most powerful um, uh, trance that I did. Like I said, I just keep getting deeper and deeper. But that's what light workers do. We channel. No, I take that back. The real light worker angel. That person will channel the energy of the Anunnaki, relaying messages from the gods themselves to the masses, whoever listens. Turns out, probably I'm the only one doing this. The real light channeling. But again, I feel like I am the only one who knows about the Anunnaki, about that pantheon. But that just shows most of this information has been dormant, lost in time, forbidden. Because if we knew this, the demons would either, no, the demons are destroying the knowledge, keeping it from us. Because with this knowledge of controlling our own minds, we are less likely to be enslaved. Because we know our power, we know how to use it, we know how to think for ourselves, etc. Because this knowledge is power. Because we are born gods. If we have our wings, humans are less likely to, um, what's the word? Immortals versus mortals. That's all I can say because I don't know how else to wrap my brain around it. 
Because mortals attacking gods. Well, what if the gods were evil? No. They were, they are tricksters, but did the humans actually ask to be... Okay, let me start that over. Did the humans piss off the gods? Therefore, the gods, doing what not only comes, attacking the demons right back because the demons show no mercy. The gods will show no mercy right back. You have to question everything. Is it either a trickster going on or is it evil versus good? Evil and then the story would literally be flipped because the gods are quote, evil, but the gods aren't evil. They are light beings. There is no evil god because all the gods are light beings, light workers, higher up angels, as in ranks, if you will. Gods are warriors, magicians, as in real magic, priestesses, priests, etc. I could go on further, but I literally have nothing else to say except for that tidbit. You have to broaden your horizons, as they say, research, look at it through new eyes. Look at it from a 5D, make it 9D perspective, because 9D is the highest, highest IQ. And looking down to 3D, everything makes more sense when you are, when you are on a higher frequency. And everything makes a ton of sense now, coming from 9D. I thank you for your time, and until we meet again.